Hello. Yes, I am making this video right after last week's video. I'm in the same clothes, same hair, same earrings. <laughs> Even my propagations are still here. So yeah, I've literally just finished my propagation video. I'm going straight onto this one ready for next week. But anyway, hello everyone. What's up? Welcome. My name is Maisie. Welcome to another planty video. <sighs> okay okay so today is another monthly favorite i love these videos i love watching them i love making them so let's do it monthly favorites for july's the first one oh i haven't gotten any of them down hold on okay the first favorite is very cosome obviously philodendron very cosome one of my top favorites ever um yeah okay let's, let's just start off i'm gonna show you this new leaf look at that oh my gosh this looks amazing sorry i'm still not over this <laughs> oh my goodness i'm stunning i think this is my biggest leaf just very slightly it's just very slightly bigger than this one um obviously the rest of the plant is not looking so great this one is like ripped this one is yellowing this one is crisping and yellowing but this one is just perfect look at that also it's finally rooted into the moss pole it's very dry at the minute so i need to water that i'm literally watering it like two three times a day yeah it's quite um quite overwhelming <laughs> oh you didn't have a look at the back there's the back and it's got a new leaf on the way as well this honestly grows so quickly i love this plant so much i honestly come into my room like five times a day and just look at this very cozy it just brings me so much joy and happiness because of this new leaf um i think it's just about like hardened off i made a little not a time lapse but like a little video of this opening i took pictures every day it's just it's it's beautiful so i can't wait for this this to grow i really really can't and i'm eventually just gonna like chop it up and uh, make a fuller plant of this because i love it this just sits by my humidifier every day all day trying to like increase the humidity is trying to increase the humidity as much as i can um obviously i would like a cabinet for this plant because it would do so well but while i wait um yeah it's gonna yeah i mean the humidity is okay it's like well it's 46 in here at the minute that's really bad but i think my one i have two humidifiers and one of them is broken so yeah that's like ridiculous but normally um i'd say the humidity is like 56 sometimes 60 and um obviously this plant has done well with that i mean other than all the other dying leaves it's fine <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to show this again showing the love oh my look at those veins i love it okay i'm done i'm done should we just keep it here? Oh, you can just see the new leaf. Oh, wait, let me just, let me just keep this next to me. There you go. You can see it. <laughs> okay, next plant actually might come as a bit of a surprise. I don't, I like never talk about this. Well, there's not really much to talk about. But lately, this is doing really well and it's actually growing. So it's becoming one of my favourites. One of those plants that I, oh my gosh, there's a fly. <laughs> it's one of those plants that um I just come into my room and again look to. And it's, okay let me just show it first of all it's my skin dap my skin daps has picked us look how cute this is this is doing really well it's growing and really exciting these are the two newest leaves obviously this one just opened it's very silver look at that i never thought i would be into this plant but i got this as a free a free one so i'm really glad that i have it otherwise obviously i wouldn't choose to have this one and it just is so easy growing fast growing it's already got a new one on the way probably can't see it it's really hard to show this one look can can you see right there and there so um yeah i mean obviously it's gonna need something to climb up it's kind of going all over the place um it is just on my ladder and i've been kind of been kind of wanted it to climb up my ladder it's wood i don't know because obviously monstera do be do Dubia um, is obviously a shingler, so it can climb up wood, stuff like that. So um, I'm not actually sure about skin daps as pictures. Like, are they the same? So I wondered if 
Skindapsis is like is like that. Can it climb up wood? I'm not sure. I haven't actually done much research on this, so that's something I'm gonna have to do. But yeah, I'll probably get like a little steak or a tiny little moss pole for it eventually. Um, or just let it trail. I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually seen skin dapsis climbing up a moss pole, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, yes, this is just a very cute plant that I'm really, really into this month, so I thought I would just show it. You can't even see my very cute stuff for a minute. No, no, you can't see it. There you go. Oh, he looks so beautiful. Okay. Okay, next one. I've actually already shown this plant last week. If you watch my last week's video, my propagation video, I just showed it briefly. Um, ow, oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, this might be a little bit of a weird favourite because it's not exactly much, but there's like, I, can't, I don't really know how to show you on the scene. It's there. It's right there. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, let me just say, first of all, this is my philodendron, El Choco Red. This, this plant has been on a little bit of a journey um so i got it and it had like compared to compared to those size leaves i had like much bigger leaves than that um i filmed the unboxing so i'll link it up above and you can go see that but yeah and then i it was in sphagnum moss i think and it just did one sec someone's ringing i'm coming no cut off what was i saying sorry how about that I'll show go red. What was I saying? Um, yes, it's in sphagnum moss and um, it it just died. I had to chop it right back, all the leaves off, and um, basically just starting all again. Just left with a tiny little chunk, but it had quite good roots. So I moved it to um, perlite, and it's been in here maybe a couple months, a month or mm, two months now. Hello, hi, hello. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> oh my baby. Cairo's here with us today. Good boy. Probably been in here like two, three months. Oh, baby. Oh. Good boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't touch that. It's okay. I'm just moving it for you. Hello. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, so in that unboxing video, you see it um, when I first got it. So go have a look at that and see how how big are the leaves are compared to this. Anyway, I'll show you a close-up and stop talking. Look how small these are. But so cute. Um, I've just kind of been moaning this whole time. But the reason I just love this is because I've just managed to grow this back from nothing. And honestly, I just thought there was just no hope. And I was really worried because... I've wanted this plant for so long and it's absolutely stunning. Um, like I said in my propagation video, obviously this isn't that El Choco, El Choco Red uh, plant, you know, that, that I wanted, that I pictured in my head. Um, but it will be soon, you know, it's on the right track and it's got good roots. And it's just, again, one of those plants I just keep looking, going to, coming to um, during the day, just to keep checking on it. And it has got that new leaf right there, you probably can't see it. And it's got a couple on the way. There's a root sticking out right there. So, yes, that is, <laughs> um, funnily enough, on my favourites today. Okay, next one is actually right here. It's um, a little bit of a big one. My, my Zabrina is finally coming back to life. Hello again. It's finally doing well. It's, uh, you know, I used to have like a 12 leaf plant of this. And then in the winter it went down to like five. So, and I was really bummed because this was this was such a thriving, happy plant. And it's finally um, getting back to that. I've got, well I had, this was the newest leaf that held everybody up for the longest time, honestly. This was half opened for like two months, seriously. I kept spraying it, it wouldn't open. And then all of a sudden it just like popped out. Obviously it's quite damaged. It feels a little bit weird. And then, literally, the next day, I had, like, two new leaves. Um, so this one was just holding, like, everyone up. Uh, this is actually a newest leaf, if you can see. Oh, just put me in the eye. Just here. Um, and, I mean, I love the stems of this. This is such an unusual plant. Not very many people have this. Although, I don't know if it's becoming a little bit more common. But, yeah, I never heard of this until, obviously, until I got it. Yeah, it's doing really well. And I, um... Um, oh my word, it's dry. I'm loving this plant this month. 
just because it is thriving. And how many leaves? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay. Wait, what? Five, six, seven. Oh, I must have had four leaves. <gasps> yeah, I must have had four leaves in the winter because obviously I've had three new leaves and it's got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven leaves. Uh, oh no, eight. This one over here is like really droopy, although it's on the way out. Uh, <laughs> it's got a little cobweb at the end. Anywho, there's like a bump here. This one, she's pregnant. She's gonna push out a new leaf soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's basically it with this plant. I haven't really got much else to say. It's just, um, it's doing really well and I'm very happy. So the final plant isn't technically mine, it's my mum's, um, but I look after it, you know, water it, repot it, all that. <laughs> basically it's half. I just do all the care and she gets to look at it. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna get it because it's downstairs, but I'll put a picture and a little video. Um, Syngonium Albo, hers is lovely. It is so variegated, it's beautiful. Um, I'll show you the newest leaf. The newest leaf is really nice as well. Mine is not doing as great. I've only got one leaf with one on the way. Nowhere near as variegated. I thought mine had reverted, but I think the variegation is slowly coming back, I hope. Um, anyway, yeah, I I love this Syngonium elbow. It's it's beautiful, and um, I definitely find myself keep looking at it. <laughs> and that is it for my favourites. I really love these videos. Please let me know if you do. Please give this video a like, comment, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.